Bismillah, wassalat, wassalam ala rasulullah. Today we are going to talk about the miracle of science, inshallah, about the ant in the Quran. The ant in the Quran uh, was talking. The ant can talk from the beginning. Yes, modern science discovered that the ant is not only talking, but singing too, uh, Nasheed. Talk. Very small talk. Scientists have long studied how various creatures communicate. Dolphins in the water, chimpanzees on land, birds in flight. But insects, could they possibly have anything to say? Well, when it comes to the tiny ant, it turns out the answer may be yes. Here's Nick Watt. Ants live in highly structured societies. They are masters of architecture and even agriculture. And now, scientists tell us, ants actually talk to each other. Actually talk to each other. Talk to each other. Were you surprised by what you found? We were. Yes, we were surprised. <laughs> but they do have a kind of language. Look at the back end of the ant, that's the abdomen moving up and down, vibrating. That's how ants make noise, that's how they, I suppose, talk to each other. Uh, so the explanation of what's uh, in the Quran is about the story is that the Prophet Solomon was coming with his, his soldiers and then the ant, she was telling her friends, enter your habitations, that Solomon and his soldiers, they do not crash you without they feel. The ant used in the Quran 14 words, and now with the modern science we discovered that the ant need between 10 and 20 words to give a complex message in the case of danger. And in the Quran there was a case of danger because uh, there was uh, the Prophet coming with his soldiers. And the message of the ant in the Quran was a complex message. Now they find with modern science that there is ants are outside for security and observing in case of danger they give the order to the other ants to take care. The ant in the Quran she used a strange word for us. Use the word uh, crash and not the word run over. How somebody can crash the ant? She said enter your habitations uh, that Solomon and his uh, soldiers uh, do not crash you without they feel. In English we say I crash the glass and I run over the insect. Even in Islam we don't have to kill the ant. Uh, so how, why she used the word crash and not run over? Uh, now with the modern science we discovered that the body of the ant, the composition of the body of the ant, there is a material of silicon inside and the silicon is the origin of the composition of the glass. That's why the ant was using the word uh, crash and not run over. In the Quran there is the word the valley of the ants until when they come up in the valley of the ants and now in the, with the modern science they discover that there is a huge home of ants for around 6,000 kilometers in Europe between France, Italy and so on. Talk to each other. Scientists made these startling discoveries by accident. Wallahu alam.